So in this video, I'm just going to show how to dismantle an A1 or A1 mini extruder head. Um, in particular, I'm going to cover replacement of the cutter head and also taking a look at loose nozzles, which I've seen a few people have complained about. And it's actually not the nozzle itself that's loose, it's the piece of bolts onto So we're going to look at that. And we're just going to tear it down as much as possible and show the process. So firstly, we want to remove our tube from the top. If it's if the filament hasn't been cut, make sure to cut it first. Press down on the little black lever and push up to remove. We want to pop off this outer cover. Catch it from the bottom and pull. Remove your center knob here, it should just pull straight off. You need your 2 mil Allen key. There's two screws up at the top here holding this piece down. You have two options here. You can take all this out in one piece or you can put a blade in between this joint here and just twist it slightly and it'll pop apart and this will slide up out of it. Be careful when you're removing it. There's a small black ribbon cable attached to the back of it and it could get damaged quite easily. So I'm going to take it out in one piece because I don't want to dismantle it. Keep all the screws neat and they already took them out it'll be very easy to put it back together so this should slide up now just as i said be careful with the ribbon cable see the ribbon at the back and that'll tilt over and rest there we need to open this 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 and this and we're going to remove this screw out of the cutter arm as well so in order to remove the screw if you release the pressure off the screw itself by pressing in the arm and just undo the screw you can remove it completely and the arm will fall down to the side pull it fully that's your cutter blade and it simply pulls out slides down out of the groove and it's out so if you need to replace that you just get your new blade push it back in slot it up into position we'll remove the silicone sock off the bottom of this catch it pull it down to remove and here you can see well, that shows up fairly well on camera but it's bolted in but it's or connected in here with the fastener but it's still loose so we're going to open that pop out the clip and pop the nozzle out These three screws here at the back that's what holds this plate onto the arm if they're loose you're going to end up with poor extrusion or artifacts on your prints so you want to make sure all three of those are tight Throw this back in just to test, make sure it's right. Yep, that sorts that. If you, if you have any blockages some pieces of filament in here so remove these two small screws
this piece of mesh. Now we want to open these rear screws. Them two. There's another two in here. These are all the same size and shape, so just put them together. And there's one more just here. That's all the bottom screws. There's one more up through this little hole here. Draw on key in. Twist anti clockwise. You can see this is starting to come loose here. It's the tension of this lever that's pushing it out. So just undo the screw. And this should slide out. And that's your extruder gears. slacking off the tension on this. Which is quite tight. This should slide off. And you want to make sure you don't drop the spring and the little spacer. There's your extruder gear. All nice and clean. So as I showed earlier, those are the three screws to make sure that that's tight. If you're having issues with your nozzle being loose after it's fitted, just tighten those down. So we're gonna refit this back together. The lever back out of the way when you're fitting this back in, it should fit in easy enough. Like so. So all of these screws are the same size and shape. Putting the back together fairly handy. Once all these are back in, we're going to put the cutter arm back in. So flip this up and in, and it should slide straight into place. Hold the lever in, install the long screw. Fit this guy. 
he uses the two of the smaller screws. reinstall this guy again being careful not to damage the ribbon cable it should slide them into place Going through that part here, just double check all the screws are tight. Then we can tighten this tensioner arm back up again. working which it is refit the nozzle refit the silicone sock confirm everything's tight which it is Tube. That's pretty much it. All we have to do now is run a test print and confirm everything works as it should, and we're done. Hope that was of some use to you.